Hey guys, it's Sega262 and welcome back to the channel. I am on Battlefront 2 today, something a little bit different because Battlefront 2 decided to do community transmission and it is quite impressive. Some of the things that I'm gonna put Amory up there that we will be getting into the game in the future. Now I don't usually play this game on a PC, I am on the console. So the reason I'm playing on a PC right now is because last night on the console I ranked up to the one game. Which is just crazy to me. I mean for, you know, people who are actually good at this game, I'm sure that's a normal evening. Who is unheard of and that's not because part of the community transmission this weekend is triple XP weekend. Wow, another hero to me out. Oof. And that has something to do with the actual news I'm about to tell you, but it is just very cool. I encourage anybody who wants to rank up some stuff to play. That's why I'm on the PC right now, because I don't have a lot of good stats on the PC side. Uh, I um, now let's get into the few transmission. Some of the things we learned about today, I'm going to list them personally, just if you know me. The actual order of the story just from what I believe is the least interesting to what I produce in the most interesting Well done. Our transports have successfully escaped. part of the community transmission. Now, first things first, the new capital supremacy map, like everybody predicted, is going to be Naboo. It's going to be the city of Seed. A lot of people speculate that there's actually going to be the plains of Naboo from the original Battlefront games, but it is not, unfortunately. Nothing wrong with that. There's going to be a surprise Capital Supremacy thing at the very end because I thought it was the coolest to mention the update. But for now, after that, the second coolest thing was we are finally getting the Clone Wars General Appearance for Anakin Skywalker. I don't actually play Anakin Skywalker that much. Well done. Our but if you do and you want a, something different than like the Jedi Rose, Finally, getting a more phone wars as Now, the third coolest thing for me was we're finally getting clone armor. Transports away. Ensure their survival. We are getting, and I don't mean like clone armor customizations. We are getting some very cool ones of those, and I'll mention those right after this. But I mean an actual TX-130 tank with an action game as a reinforcement. It's actually the only clone ground vehicle we have next to the AR. Why don't we have any heroes? Um, now, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. This comes with some interesting power ups and abilities, one of which is going to be its ultimate, which is a uh, more two bumper power up. And that is going to be charged stop. Both of its turrets will charge one large ion blast, which will multiple the enemies at once will large target enemies. Now, I don't know exactly what dice people are leading to there, what other reinforcements you can do to the that way to come to this. We need it, but it's very cool. The other two are going to be kind of like Escort our troop transports to safety. Which is fine. Troop transports clear. That will cost the resistance. Get an agility booster together. Uh, either way, it's very cool to see uh, clone armor finally the game. You're on your own. Stuff. Now, I'm getting so distracted. <laughs> I apologize. The next one is the most anticipated part of this mini transition and by far my favorite, and that is we are finally getting Droidicas in the game. And besides the overload ability that they will get for the twin slasher cannons, they will be getting a real form mode and a shield mode, obviously. However, these two modes, much like the um, infiltrator class and the BX class, will work in tandem. What I mean by that is, you can pop into the real form mode whenever you want, move around the battlefield at what they call an actual breakneck speed to so relocate, and one of the ways you can actually exit that mode instead of hitting the ability again or firing is, or I should say, is by one, firing your gun so you can just roll into a group of clones 
and just pop up firing with the neutral. Or, if you want a more iconic Phantom Menace feel, you can get out of the mode by deploying your shield. And so if we you are surrounded by multiple enemies, you can roll in, pop your shield, and begin to plan your next course of action, which I think is going to be a really, really cool feature. I'm very excited for Droidicus. However, that is not the coolest thing we learned today from the community transmission. The coolest thing we learned is that the new clone appearances you get will be the Elite 40 first or Recon or what a lot of people refer to as the clone scout troopers. So that will be an epic appearance for 40,000 credits. I believe it will be able to be applied to all troopers because it didn't specify which no survivors, which is nice. And then for me, my personal favorite is we are finally getting ARF Recon Trooper armor in the game, this time for the iconic 212, and it will be to emulate, of course, the episode where we see Wax and Boyle for my two favorite clone troopers, or at least in my list of top guys, uh, Rescue General Obi-Wan Kenobi in their ARF armor, which means it will yet. have the splinter camo from Geonosis, plus the yellow action. There's another very cool addition to the That is still responsive. not the coolest thing we've got the coolest thing we're getting is that for me and probably a lot of the rest of you guys in the fan base, we have wanted one thing very badly, and that is new planets, if not from the Clone Wars, just from any part of Star Wars, just new maps. And while the blue is a new capital supremacy map, it's just a bigger version of what we already saw. And at the end, they tease in an image. Lucia. For anybody that doesn't know, it's one of the longest battles of the Clone Wars. Next to Vito, it's one of the deadliest battles of the Clone Wars. It is absolutely crazy. They sent a screenshot of what the battlefield will look like, and they said it will be coming in July or later 2019. And what I mean by that is they said it will come later 2019 and then gave July as a date. But that's not confirmed, not and as you know, that is subject to change We've restored power so to I wouldn't look for it next Keep month. On the but be on the lookout for it at They're least firing on the front in the fall, Stop so that'll them. be very cool. And in that clone, or sorry, now I'm ahead of my car to spoil that for you guys. In the teaser shot, we get to see um, Mace Windu's clone legion, so that'll probably be a new appearance when we that update. And so... While wow, that's only one new planet, it is. Just right I did it again. While well, that's only one new planet, it is alluding to the fact that DICE is going to start adding more Clone Wars planets to the game following Fallujah. And that one will be starting as a capital supremacy map, and then from there, I don't know if they'll make a Galactic Salt or anything else. But it's going to be built specifically for Galactic Salt, and that is just, in my opinion, really so that's about it for Battlefront News. Watch for anybody who watches me for World of Tanks, I will be uploading that video later today. I just wanted to do a community, er, my little community transmission on Battlefront 2. It's a game I play a lot of. As you can clearly tell, I don't play a lot of the PC, so I am struggling to stay up to those. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I will just give you any other news damage. that I think is important the ship that I personally enjoy. Protect it. Do your duty. Today. If you would Got like him. to see more videos of me doing it, shields online. Don't let the resistance take. If you would like to see me do more videos like this, where I just play terribly so you can laugh at me while getting news, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this community transmission, what you're excited for most. Maybe you're excited for Blue for more than Droid Effect like me. Maybe you just really wanted the Droid Effect. So that's enough. Maybe you wanted it. I don't know. Let me know. I love talking about this stuff with you guys. And as always, if you enjoy the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.